everybody. Hi. All right, so I'm just gonna tell you guys a little bit about myself. I'm Jay Poe, I'm the owner and artist of The Purple Posy. I am a content creator for Dixie Bell Paint Company, and I'm a business coach and a creative mentor for my private membership group, Painting Over Borders. It's all about me. Guys, let me know about you, okay? All right, so what I've got back here is this cabinet. We actually painted this cabinet together last week. Um, I showed y'all how to kind of do layers with like peekaboo colors, um, and we used the Latin floral transfer. What I'm gonna do with this cabinet is I've decided that I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I finished it up and I was like, man, I gotta have this one. So this is gonna go in my new office. I'm actually moving in a couple of days, so I'm gonna, this is gonna go into my office and I'm gonna add some of the boho feathers or some of the feather decoupage paper. Um, the rice decoupage paper from the Bells and Whistles line that Dixie Bell carries, there's like, I don't know, 15 plus designs are super awesome. Um, I would show them all to you, but everything is packed. I packed everything except for what I needed today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to, um, I'm gonna decoupage the inside of this door here, and I'm gonna show you guys um, just a different way to use your decoupage paper. You don't have to use it on the outside. You can use it on the insides. You can use it on the sides of the drawers. You can put them on the top of your furniture if you want to. You really can. Just put like three coats of the clear coat on there and you should be good to go. Um, but one of the things I wanted to talk about was how to apply them. So we recommend you use a clear coat, one of the Dixieville clear coats. They work fabulous to, as a decoupage medium. Keep in mind, today I'm going to be using gator hide as my decoupage medium. Now gator hide, when you use gator hide, it will actually, you see the little white parts in here? I cut these out as best as I could, I, like 75 of them. It took me 17 hours. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I cut these out as best as I could, but I was not gonna try to get all up in there, right? Um, but the great thing about using gator hide as your decoupage medium is when I apply it on here and I stick it on the door, that white part is pretty much gonna go away. It's gonna be translucent, pretty much. You'll, you might see the, um, the little fibers, the rice fibers in here. Um, but that's completely normal. It'll look like it's wrinkled and messed up, but it's not. It's completely normal to do. If you use a clear coat, um, like the clear coat flat, satin, or gloss, either one, when you put your decoupage on your piece, whether it's the drawer, whether it's on paint, whether it's on wood, whatever, it does, it's not going to matter. This white part is still going to pretty much show. You're going to see it. So the, that's why I decided to go with... Um, with gator hide because I'm kind of piecing everything together. Now there's a lot of the decoupage papers that have like a full, you know, like floral scenery or um, a design or whatever, and those are great to use, um, you know, without having to cut them up. I've used the colorful tiles on another boho cabinet that we painted together. I think that's like three lives. Um, and those are perfect. I put, I cut them up and put them on a, a window of a door to make it look like stained glass. There's so many different things you guys can do with the decoupage paper. So I'll quit gabbing along. I see you guys jumping on. Hey, happy Monday. Y'all, I'm super excited today. I'm really excited today. I'm, paint, I'm uh, packing because I'm finally getting to move. I've got a house. And so we're going to head east to Abilene, Texas from Big Spring, Texas. Getting ready to go. I'm excited. All right. So any of your clear coats that you're using, any of them, I'm using Gator Hide, uh, which is the toughest, most durable, water repellent, um, you know, water resistant top coat that we have. It's the most durable, Gator Hide. It's pretty clever, right? Um, any of them that you use, you're gonna wanna stir. You're gonna wanna stir really well, because they do, you can shake them, but I wouldn't recommend that. You're gonna get bubbles. You're not gonna get all of the yucky stuff that's at the bottom. There's gonna be, let me show you. Can y'all see kind of that line of gunk right there? This is why you want to stir. You want to stir all of your clear coats because you want to get all of that up from the bottom. You want to scrape it off the sides. You want to do all that. That way it works like it's supposed to work. Otherwise, the clear coat flat is more susceptible to separation. You'll be able to see it if it's sitting on your shelf a long time. So that one for sure you've got to stir really, really well. You can tell, you can tell when they need to be stirred real well. So you'll want to stir real well. Now to, um, to apply my decoupage medium, 
I'm actually going to use a flat mini. You can use a chip brush, that way you can just throw them out. I wanted to leave this out because just in case I needed a, a, a brush for something else. Um, so I'm going to use a synthetic mini, flat mini today. So the biggest thing I need to figure out is how I want to do this. Um, I packed up already all of my um, tools, so I couldn't really undo the hardware. So we're going to have to work around the hardware screws here. Bring y'all down a little bit. All right. Okay, so I'm, i got to figure out how I'm going to do them. I wanted to show y'all that this is what the feathers look like. So you'll get a whole row of the whole feather put together. And then you get some that's cut off. But these butt up together. And the tips, the tips are up here. Okay, so you could, if you wanted, you could kind of stack these and tile these together to make one large, I feel weird doing that, one large mural of feathers, right? So I wanted to show you all that. It's $12.95, you get like three of them, it's a pretty good deal, I feel. Okay, so what are we gonna do, guys? How are we gonna do this? I wanna layer them in a way, and I'm thinking I might come down with a few here, like so. like that there's like four different designs in here so let's just do that the biggest thing when you're when you're layering is to kind of figure out so like this would look I mean it would look okay on top but I kind of want it on the bottom so I'm gonna do this one first all you do is you get a little bit of your your decoupage medium whatever it is on your brush and you brush it on your surface gator hide is just fine over plain wood I promise it's just fine because I'm going to have to seal them in as well. All right, so I've got the decoupage on there. And I'm going to come in and just apply it. You just smooth it out. And then I'll bring you guys in at the end and show y'all how that white paper pretty much becomes translucent. Isn't that pretty? I mean, it's just a pretty little addition to, I love the colors. I pulled the colors from the actual piece. Um, again, this has the Latin floral on it and I'll give you all a little, a little sneaky poo of it before we get off of here. Let's add another one here. Get back here. All you do, you just, like I said, you just apply it, smush it down with your fingers, smooth it out. Where you want, I didn't get under there. So let me get under there. See how easy that was, boom. This, this um, also I wanted to show you, this decoupage paper is very high quality. They do not rip. You can, you can scratch it, like can you hear it on my microphone? I mean, I'm really scratching it. And it's just fine. Really good quality paper. Um, all right, let's come in with, I'm trying to get all the different designs. Let's come in with this one. My stuff is drying really fast because I've got a fan going because it's so sneaking hot. Did I go down far enough? Nope. Get this up here. Has anybody tried, have y'all tried the decoupage paper? The new bells and whistles. I folded that down on accident. I'm going to get these on and then I'm going to go over it again with the gator hide and I'm going to show y'all how translucent that is. Let me bring you a little bit this way. Have y'all tried the decoupage paper? Do you love them? Are you going to try them? All right, so that's smoothed down. All you can see is the little rice fibers in there. I'm going to go over it again with just a thin layer of my gator hide. And as I do that, that white is going away. You'll still see a little bit, like I said, because you'll see the rice fibers. Can y'all see that? Let me bring you in. 
you've bought the feathers. The feathers are my absolute favorite and the colorful tiles. Oh my goodness, I can't get you off. Let me bring y'all in and show you. So it's still a little wet, whoa. Still a little wet, but here you can see as it's drying, that white is be pretty much becoming translucent and you can see the wood through it, okay? How cool is that, right? And you can, like I said, you can cut, you can mix, you can match, you can layer, you can not layer. You can put stencils over it, you can paint over them. I've painted over them. Um, you can put would you bend moldings over them, which I've also done. There's, there's like endless possibilities. All right, so what do y'all think? Do you think we need a big cluster down here? I think we need a big cluster down here. Let's do that super quick. So when I'm done, there's going to be an obvious, um, it's going to be obvious where I've put the gator hide. When I'm completely done, I'll go over the entire um, door with gator hide so it looks, you know, the wood looks uniform. The only thing I did to um, prep this is just clean with white lightning, the Dixie Bells TSP type powder cleaner mixed with water. I cleaned it with white lightning. I used my finishing pad to scrub it. That's how I prep my furniture. And then I um, just rinsed it with some vinegar water. You don't have to wait for the gator hide to dry underneath before. Nope, you don't. Nope. Nope, you just smooth it out and then you go over it with the gator hide. It'll. Um, I mean, it'll take a little bit to dry, you know, but you don't have to wait. Nope. You don't have to wait. So I have all of these here. I told you I cut out like 75 and spent 17 hours. <laughs> Just kidding. I think I want to use more of the turquoise down here, the turquoise ones with the turquoise colors. And we need to do five, right? Because you would need to do odd numbers. Odd numbers are aesthetically pleasing. It's just a general rule of thumb for decorating or anything like that. So I think I need to try to avoid those screws. Let's get these on. This is probably going to be really fast live. I, like I said, I packed everything and just left out what I needed to decoupage because this piece is done. I've sealed it, clear coat flat, gator hide on the top. She's ready to go. She's ready to be put in my new home. I'm gonna use her in my office. My new office. Okay, so I've got that smoothed out. If you find yourself with a bubble, just just gently smooth it out. You're not gonna rip it. It, it takes a lot to rip these. It really does. So don't be scared. Let me grab some over here. And you just need a really thin layer. You don't have to put too, too much on there. All right, let's see. I'm gonna go right there. So now I have no choice but to go over this one. And that's okay. It's not gonna hurt anything. Like this. And we'll see. Some let's see. If y'all have any questions, um, put them in the comments. Dixie Bell's on. They're fantastic at answering questions. Um, they can answer them, or I always come back and look at the comments myself. I, don't know, I think I may layer all of these on here that I cut out because, I mean, I cut them out. I need to use them.
That's it. How pretty is that? Isn't that pretty? Let me bring you guys in. I want to. I really want to show you how it took that corner. Oh my gosh, it's only been 20 minutes. This is a short live. Some of you guys may be grateful for that. <laughs> All right, so what we got here, I don't even know. I didn't even count how many we layered, but thank you, Dixie Bell. I might need to put something right there. Actually, I, I will put something right there on that little, but looky here. So we went under and we took that corner like a champ. See that? Looks flawless, looks seamless. I still gotta clean this up. There we go. That's it. That's all I got for you today. Uh, everything else is packed up. Look it, look it, look it. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go. Um, I hope you learned something. Try the decoupage paper out. If you're not a decoupage paper, I promise, I promise they're gonna be fine, you're gonna get addicted. What kind of material? It's a rice decoupage. It's a rice decoupage paper. Thank you, Nancy. There is a link there for you guys. If you click on that link, you can find a local retailer. They've got, um, especially your elite retailers, they have all of these uh, trans or these decoupage papers in stock. If you don't have a retailer near you, you can order from that link. It ships right to your door, and it helps my small business out. And I appreciate you guys so much when you use it. Y'all have a good week. Talk to you later. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified when new videos are posted. Also, I typically put out a blog to show how I finish these pieces of furniture. If you head on over to my website, thepurpleposy.com, and sign up for the mailing list, you'll get notified when those blogs are posted as well.